fake. Serbia, we didn't nearly smirk. I got the documents. Hurry, get in the other car. Come on, before they send reinforcements. They shot all of our assets, and they have all of our payment records, along with the names of all our Russian agents. It's a complete and total disaster. I can't go back to Cologne with this. The people at headquarters, what am I supposed to tell them? You can stay here as long as you need, Colonel. Where was this? 25 miles to the south of Liège. Colonel von Ley was the only one to survive. And he claims that the attackers were Serbs. The Black Hand? Perhaps. How did Von Ley survive? He was shot in the jaw. A few inches higher, and he'd be dead. You said it was a woman who shot him. That's right. And Von Ley is the one who said that it was the Serbs. I believe they left Von Ley alive intentionally. So that he would point to the Serbs. And we'd start searching for the bastards in the south. You're a genius, Elizabeth. I know. It means that they will head north, to the Netherlands. We need to reinforce the checkpoints at the borders. And electrify the wire already. What if they are already in Holland, under Rostenyak's protection? We'll know soon enough. Who's on your mind? The same person that's on yours. Margaret has just completed an important mission in London. Every minute counts. I understand. We'll bring her to Haag as soon as we can. Whoa! <laughs> madam, madam, what brings you to Haag? You see, it is to someone very dear to me. Someone you lost? Who is it? What's the name? Her name is Margaret. She is fabulous, and I adore her. 
bravo. Thank you, ma'am. You're so kind and beautiful. Oh, you're welcome. I love the boy. May it be my lucky charm. Wait, what about your manager, Monsieur Astrock? Is he here? I can see you're very well informed. Gabrielle is in Paris right now, making arrangements for my return. Ladies and gentlemen, looking forward to seeing you at my show. <laughs> Good afternoon, Herr Kramer. Good afternoon. I've been waiting for you for quite some time now. I'm sorry that I kept you waiting. How was your trip? Ah, oh, difficult. But I'm ready for my next mission. Our mission, my dear Margaret. Only my closest friend call me Margaret. For you, a matter hurry. Now continue. You seem to be quite full of yourself. Maybe. But I think it is you who has come across as someone that you are not. Are you trying to impress me? What's in the paper that, that you were reading? Hmm? I don't remember. You don't remember? Of course you don't remember. You were staring at me at the window the entire time. You think I didn't notice you? Hmm? Enough of your childish games. We have serious work to do. For heaven's sake. I was told that it was a matter of a couple of days. And I'm not going to spend an extra minute in this place unless I absolutely have to. Fine. Please sit down. Please. <sighs> we need to get this man, Théophile Rastignac. He works for the French consulate. He's George Latou's agent. Handsome. Good. Should I seduce him? Well, I don't know what your methods are. My method? are oh, great, believe me. And very effective, too. You're so touching, my dear Gustave, in your confusion. Anything else? Yes, the first one is only my closest friends call me Gustave. For you, it's Herr Kammer. Secondly, this man is expecting a message, a letter or a note, something like that, from Belgium. We need to know what it says. Such a man. Should enjoy a woman's company. Well, he has slept with all the whores in town. So it shouldn't be a problem for you. No, it's not. Have him come to my show, and I will handle him. We can arrange that. Have a nice sleep. Good afternoon, Herr Cabral. Good afternoon. Cigarette? So will the fence run along the entire border now? Yes. When they gave the order, they said there would be no rushing. Now they want us to finish it all in three days. So we will divide barley. The border runs right through the street there, doesn't it? I'm not sure, but if it does well, we'll just take over the town. And the Dutch can't do anything about it. 
I sell barbed wire. This kind of fence works well for cattle. But a man will get through easy, especially at night when the patrol isn't around. You think so? Hmm. Let's check. Prisoners. Caught stealing from our munition factories. Let's have one of them try. Certainly. Stand still. Soldier. Come. I want you to show this man how the wire works. Of course. Is anyone hungry? Yeah, I'm sure you are. Well, who wants this bread? First one to step up gets it. No takers? I guess I'll throw it out. Ah, we have a winner. There's a real man. an auction. Today's prizes are not one, not two, but three. Three tickets for the show of the one and only, the magnificent Mato Hare! So, gentlemen, the most desired woman in Europe will be dancing for you. Here, here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. I'll double the price. Right here. Ten Oh, yes, yes. It seems that your plan is failing. Or just imagine it doesn't know who you are. Could be. But it's you overestimating my popularity, not me. Find a way. Hey, gentlemen, please, wait, wait, wait. Would you please allow a lady to purchase the last ticket? It is 300 francs, madam. I would give anything to see Matari herself. Well, on second thought, I'm ready to risk it and bet it on a game of, let's say, the Cara. And how much is the beautiful lady ready to wager? I told you it was wrong. What a hurry. One thousand francs. Wow. Beautiful oh. matter. A toast, yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Monsieur Mello, long time no see. Too much work lately. I'll have the usual. Mademoiselle, would you allow a tired traveler to spend a few minutes in your company? Only if you can make good conversation. Regards from Belgrade. Trina, the river's water is cold, but it's got a Serbian blood. 
We were expecting you yesterday. We tried to cover our tracks. Now you might get trapped in the wire. Will you help us? Of course. We have colleagues who will help you as well. They are in the French intelligence. Rest in nothing to do. Have you heard of them? Frau, I am Lieutenant Bach, border guard in service of the Kaiser. I noticed your accent. May I see your papers? Don't be nervous. Huh? I'm sorry, officer. I'm Belgian sorry. Belgian bastard! Excuse me. Excuse me. Put your hands on me! It was an accident. I'm Belgian sorry. Belgian bastard! Officer, I'm sorry. Nine. I'll play. I might be able to see you on stage. Go ahead. But be careful, don't overdo it. I heard all good seats are taken. Only the balcony is left. That's the good news. In that case, I raise it up to... to Fatson. Well... I guess I'll have to match it. Your papers, sir. Where are you from? This is our address. That was my last money. What a beautiful ring. Is it a family heirloom? Yes, it is. And it's quite expensive. I can add something to the ticket. This is only if you win, of course. I guess you'll have dinner with me now. Of course not. I said perhaps. It doesn't mean you're getting it all in right away. What about your winnings, madam? Give it to the help. What a woman. I'll see about her.
Have you met with Mello? Do they know the border fence is electrified? Yes, they're looking for a solution. Perhaps we can go around it. The patrols are on every corner. It was a good idea to split up. They're looking for a couple, a tall man and a Slavic woman. Yes. We lost a lot of time tricking the Germans. Perhaps our cover wasn't convincing enough. They can't possibly have enough men to patrol the entire border. They don't need to. The border is electrified now. <gasps> if you touch the fence, it kills you. I watched as they electrocuted a captive French soldier and laughed. They're like animals. And they are in Belgrade now. If we cannot stop them, what will happen there? I'm sorry. Well, they will never get to Petersburg. And we'll get to Berlin. I promise. I will leave you so you can rest. Don't. Why didn't you accept his invitation? I think you're overestimating yourself, relying too much on your charms. I'm relying on my weight, experience, and knowledge of people. You, on the other hand, you shouldn't be relying on any other things. Which are not your strongest qualities. If you fail this assignment, I will destroy you. <laughs> I'm the one who is reporting to headquarters. Don't you forget it. It seems that you have forgotten who you're dealing with. I will not satisfy you with a failure. And we mustn't be seen together again until the mission is over. could get into big trouble without my protection. <laughs> Judging the way you work could be in big trouble by trusting you with my safety. <laughs> it might sound overconfident, but I never met anyone capable of not playing me. Good evening. Monsieur Ladoux, what are you doing here? I wanted to talk to you. Are you ready for our guest from Belgium? Yes, I'm waiting for the signal. You met Matahari at the officers' club tonight, didn't you? Yes, we played cards together. And you don't find it odd that this woman appears in your life at this particular time? <laughs> I know a lot of women, Captain. And I'm always ready to add one more to the list. I'm aware of that. And until now, I wouldn't have cared who you sleep with. However, this time, I have to ask you to stop seeing this woman. You don't think she's a spy, do you? I do. I've been watching her, and I think she's dangerous. And uh, why haven't you arrested her? Because she's very careful, because she has connections. Did you really think you would be the only one who has been seduced by her? She has slept with many powerful men. I guess that makes the prize even more valuable. Lieutenant, I order you to stop seeing Matahari. I will put you on trial if you do not follow this order. 
Is that clear? Yes, sir. Man. The Frenchman got the lady. Vive la France. Vive la France. What happened? I woke you up. <laughs> no. I felt so peaceful. 
Now all those thoughts are coming back again. Mm. So why do you need to memorize it all? That's the order they gave me back in Budapest. I have to memorize everything, and I don't even know why. Did you figure out how to cross the border? Yes. I'll let you know tomorrow. I will need to buy a man's suit for you. <laughs> no way. Yes. We'll need it. <laughs> Please go to sleep now. Don't distract me. Again, if you dare leave me now. I have to go. I'm expecting something. Something valuable? Yes, it's an important letter. Let's send Anna to get it. Hmm? You will write her a note, and uh, she will bring the letter right here. What do you think about that? Mm, all right. Oh. I need to get to. No, you don't. I'll be your dad. This dark one. Does it look better on me? How does it matter? It's only for one night. All right, then. We'll take this one. Have you ordered the ladder? Yes, it will be ready by tonight. Tell the people on the other side that we'll be coming the day after tomorrow at Four in the morning. You pick the place. All right. Excuse me, sir. We'll take the last one. Yes, sir. Section 6. Day after tomorrow, 4 in the morning. Send a letter to Hogg. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
It's a sin, madam. Shut up. Don't wake up the boy. Bring it up with the coffee. Go, go. Is your maid back? Go, go, go. Not to me. It's okay. It's nothing. It's nothing. Mm. So? So? I would love to spend that day with you, but... I can't. Oh, that's a pity. Hmm. Yes, but... When I come back? I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Good place. Yeah. Germans would never expect anyone to cross the border in such a Open place. <laughs> How long have you been here, Mello? Long, too long. Long before Garvillo Princip killed Franz Ferdinand. How many of us are going to be there? Only me, my guy, you and Zlatka. The Dutch will be shooting from the other side. They're blank, so just you know that. Why? To exonerate themselves from the Germans. The traders don't care about keeping the honor. <laughs> what took you so long? I had to make sure I wasn't followed. He's leaving La tonight. He said he might be away for a couple of days. Excellent. Anything else? He received a note. Which said where and when the border will be crossed. I memorized it and wrote it down. Four o'clock in Berlin. Thank you. Can I get ready to leave? Of course not. First, we have to make sure this is what we need. Don't be mad. Business is business. I'm exhausted. I need a break from this business. Have a good night. <sighs> Coordinates transmitted, Herr Kramer. Good. Don't you dare. The troops are ready, awaiting your orders on your command, sir. All the men are prepared. Tell them to wait for my order. Coming soon. is only about a mile away. They should be here soon.
Time to go. Move out. Run away! I'll take care of this! The Germans are on both sides! Come on! We have to run! I'm sorry for being stupid. Don't worry, I like it. That's all. The agents are crossing the border. We should help them. I haven't been authorized to do that. Holland is a neutral country. Ah, go to hell. She needs a doctor. Sorry, we have no time now. Look at me, Zlatka. Look at my eyes. Where are the documents? Inside the lighting. Zlatka, do you hear me? Stay with me. Stay with me. Yes, it will be good. I promise. Yes, it will be good. I promise. It will be good, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. We wouldn't have time anyway. Slavomir, put the jacket on. Monsieur Maslov, do you remember all the names and addresses in the documents? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Serbia, Serbia! Give the bodies of the trespassers to the Germans. You're a hero now. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, hurry. Hide fast. That man, inside his jacket, in the lining. Excellent. Serbian rats. What your soldiers did will cause a lot of resentment. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn about resentment. Who shot this poor man? I did. This man give me the order to. Oh. You didn't want to share the glory, Monsieur Rastignac. Night of 
love could cost you a lot. So it was her. I was never here, understood. Take the bodies with you. What could I have done? I need to go to Hag. There is a railway station nearby. Show me the way. Don't tell anyone about the man who took the documents. And what about Monsieur Resignac? He was killed by a German soldier during a fight. garden to talk. So, what's the occasion? Tell me, Gustav, did you really have to kill this poor Astiniak? No. I didn't have to kill him. I really wanted to. His pretty face was getting on my nerves. And did you really have to mention my role in this operation? Where did you, um, how did you know? I just know it. And I think like the two will know, and we figured out that there was a part of it. Do you even realize what a stupid mistake you've made? <laughs>
sorry for being late, sir. You sent men to Madrid to seek Matahari. But the press already found her. As you see in the paper. Hmm. What an impudent slut. She's playing with fire, that one. She's impudent, but this could be a coincidence. There's no proof she caused Resignat's death. And the mission's failure. Witnesses saw them leaving together after her performance. I'm sure this whore had lured him into her bed and slept with him. And she betrayed him. Rastignac was always a fool when he came to women. She seduced him and gave him to the Bosch. I'm absolutely certain of it. To her, such an idiot was a perfect prey. We should pay our respects, sir. My condolences, madame. He was a brilliant officer. France will remember this hero. Hmm. I want to find this German spy. I want to interrogate her. And what about a dog asteroid? Is he in Paris? He's been busy with the journalists, but he's had no secret meetings that we know of. It wouldn't be secret if you knew. He would do anything for her. He's such a fool. <laughs> so should we send men to Paris to kill her? I think the risk would be... The risk would be great. You're right. We'll follow her, observe her, collect evidence. <clears throat> then we arrest and try her. The hall would pay for its reason. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Two arms! Vladimir Maslov, you are honored for exemplary service, and you are hereby promoted to the rank of Captain in Charge of the Infantry. It's my honor, sir. Your first command will begin immediately. I'm sorry, sir. I, I was serious about my reporting to the front. And for what reason would you do this? I don't ever want to kill one of my own people, even for the sake of a mission. And if they kill you? So be it. All right. Ready to leave for Petrograd. They will make your assignment there.
Joffre and Massimi haven't sent anything. Pigs. Oh, well. I will have them at my feet. <laughs> so, you have... Mm -hmm. three confessions of love with invitations to dinner... Mm -hmm. and one confession... with a threat of suicide. <laughs> this one is too cheap to buy a dinner. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Tired. It is quite difficult to constantly remain desirable and seductive. You know you don't have to do that with me. I know, my friend. I know. What do we have tomorrow? Uh, reception. At uh, the French industrial Andre Citroen. I've never heard about him before. No, he's a newcomer. He made his fortune manufacturing uh, weapons and ammunition for the Russians. Citroen? Mm hmm. Andre Citroen. Okay. Ah. Here we are. Good evening, madam. Please allow me to express my genuine admiration. Oh, what beautiful flowers. I picked them today. They grow along our earthwork by our entrenchments. Do you fight there? Oh, oui, madame. Excusez-moi, Henri Fitchell, 110, <laughs> Infantry, Regiment, General Folk's Corps. Thank you. What the hell? She's insane. She prefers the brave kind, not the cowards in the rear. Yes, I am reporting to Paris next week. Hmm. Your idea? I asked to return to Bruselov, but they said no. I suppose they are punishing me for something. They're detaching you to Paris. Most men would be happy for such punishment. Do you need money? No. I trust you completely with my estate. Piotr Alexievich, if it's not too small for you to buy. Oh, not at all. It's, uh, it's the least I can do for your father. He and I were like brothers. Although compared to him, I am low born. Not to me you aren't, or to my father. You made your family name strong. It means a lot for me to hear you say that, Volodya. Volodya, I am old and I gave me no sons. Only a daughter. And I've always hoped that she marries you, of course. It should be to a man of character like yourself. And she loves you. You know that. Yes, I know, but... Uh... You think she's like a sister to you, but she's not your sister, and you would make a beautiful couple. You know what they say, marriage, then love. Love comes after marriage. That's how it is. I respect your love, Pyotr Alexeyevich. And Vera, too. Well, then you have to please me, right? That's how it is with us merchants. Vera would never agree. She would know that my heart was not in it. Vera would follow you to the ends of the earth. Trust me, Volodya. I know. After the engagement? Yes, we are. It's allowed, but we shouldn't. I'm... I'm so happy. I'm even scared. What is it? Are you laughing at me? No, I am. 
I'm just happy to. It's decided for life now. There they are, the lovebirds. Join us inside. Everyone's waiting. They want to congratulate you. Here they are. Give them a big cheer. All right. right then. Yeah. Toast. Yes. To a long and happy life together. Cheers. 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 And to you. Martin. Martin, where are you? Martin. I hope we're not too early or too late. <laughs> I'm sure we're just on time. Here, I'll take this for you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. Can you please take these? Yes, yes, that's it. Thank you very much. Butler! If I catch you away from your station again, you're fired. It's a nice memento. English consul will arrive soon. Keep an eye on the secretary. He works for the Austrians. Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, any news from the Russian headquarters, Colonel? Nothing. But then, even when we do get news, it seldom makes sense. It's probably just as well. The codes they use are so simple, a child could crack them. Fortunately, procrastination wins out over ignorance. Yes, thank God indeed. So, Monsieur Citroën, I heard that you will soon be making cars like Monsieur Renault. I am. And with victory just around the corner, it's time to prepare the industry for peace. My friends, my new factory has opened today, and we are prepared to make whatever the country needs. People say that we industrialists make money on war, and yes, that is true. But if we can avoid war, I'll be a most happy engineer producing cars for every family in France. Bravo! Wonderful words. Still, if war is inevitable, I assure you that I promise I will do whatever it takes to give the soldiers of our country the most advanced weapons to ensure a perfect victory. And speaking of perfection, with us today is the one, the only, the beautiful Matahari. <laughs> Thank you. Music Thank you so please. Much. Oh, you're wonderful. May I? Excuse me. I'm sorry. My name is Pierre Lenoir. I'm your contact in Paris. Oh, perfect. We should need a reason to see each other. I'm a publisher and a journalist, so I can ask your impresario to arrange our interview. Which newspaper? Le Journal. What? <laughs> this shameless rag, full of lies. Yes, thank you. So, here's the information. The Russians are sending troops to help the French. Mm -hmm. So we need to know how many. Did they write anything about the Russian troops in the newspaper? Yes. So I should be aware of it. Thank you. You're welcome. You see that lady who's speaking with the general and the colonel over there? Listen in on their conversation and report back. Colonel Ignatiev, Russian military attaché. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to meet you, Colonel. Madame. I bet you miss your country so much. Between the French and the Russian, there is this enemy land, right? I am too busy to be homesick, Madame. Of course, you're so busy. I heard that the Tsar sent um, soldiers to help France, right? To support the French troops. And, um, and your countrymen will be sent to the front lines immediately? <laughs> I can't say anything about that, madame. General Lawitsky's corps will be disposed in the training camp in Mali at first. It's so nearby. Will there be a parade? I don't know, madame. I don't know. I'm 
sure there will be a parade. I'm sure of it. You know, I really, really, really love the military man and parades. Can I get an invitation? Of course you can. And in exchange, I can perform for the officers for free? Hmm? It will be wonderful. I believe there should be no obstacles. Can you give me your word? You do. Thank you. I will tell to Gabriel to find a date for the performance. She seems very smart. Why does she play the fool? I can tell you why she's doing it. She has just offered us a free performance, and now she'll get good publicity. Good point. Yeah. An interesting woman. Ah, please. some kind of gut. Well, gentlemen, I certainly cannot complain about French ladies. We can beat the Germans! Hooray! Hooray! I love this city. Oh, good. They've already announced the shouty show. Yes. Thanks to Lenoir, he advertised in the paper. Though it was perceived as overly patriotic. <laughs> That's fine. Paris is filled with patriots these days. Russians? Yes. This Lenoir, is he a friend of Elizabeth's? Absolutely. So our returning from Paris was just another favor to our Frau Doctor. Don't shout. You want somebody to overhear you? Margaret, it is dangerous here. This is a country that is at war, and if they so much as suspect... Calm down, Gabriel. Hmm? They don't suspect anything. And don't forget, they have protectors up high. Oh, they're so... Be careful, you could cut yourself. You know. No, I can't. <laughs> like, who is Mother Hurry? Must be an actress. She's a dancer and a prostitute. She dances and takes a lot of clothes off. That is, if you pay. If you pay more. Oh, thank you. You don't like force. It's more like I feel sorry for them. Sorry for who? You devil, because you can't afford such women. <laughs> Volodya, don't bother. I can handle it myself. Believe me, I would much rather be doing this watching a naked woman run around on stage. Yeah, I understand. Still, the others are so excited. Like little children. Your Honor, General Lokvitsky summons you immediately. Stay here and help Father Alexander. Yes, sir. Pick up that end. Now, move it against the wall. Attention, officers. While you are here, you represent the Russian army, the Russian people, and the emperor. France will judge all Russia by your behavior. And so far, their opinion is good. Keep it that way. Your Excellency, Captain Maslov, your orders are to join us on our trip to Paris. Yes, sir. Officer Rabov, you will remain on duty here. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, the cars are waiting for us. Hmm. Lieutenant? Yes. Give it back to her. Oh, my. Oh, what a romantic you are. It's a pity you're not going. 
Don't regret too much. I will not. Captain Maslov! aware of our affairs? He's merely guessing. You don't have to worry about anything. He's very loyal to me. He looks too nervous. He might give us away. <sighs> the Russians are bluffing. They're saying that the General Levinsky's unit, the one that paraded in Paris, is a part of the Special Corps. 
Yes, it's all over the papers that main forces are going to arrive from France. About half a million soldiers, they say. Berlin is very concerned. There's no special corps at all. Only one brigade will be sent here, and two will be sent to Macedonia. That's it. How do you know that? I'm always surprised how talkative men can get when they want to impress a woman. And knowing the amount of officers that come to my show, it is fair to assume that only 20,000 men compose that brigade. Okay, and what about their armaments? No, I'm sorry. It's not gonna work. This is not what we talked about. You promised me a big article, and this is just a joke. Uh... We're never too careful. We're talking about the article, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So you will publish our interview in the next um, issue. You will see all the details of Gabriel. And about the armament, I'm thinking about questioning a certain officer that will be very, very sorry for insulting me. Mm. Yes, I read about it. I'm glad you have. Gabrielle. Farewell. The surveillance has given us little information. Matahari spends a lot of time in the public eye, and she takes an interest in the Russians, but nothing else. That officer the whore claimed insulted her. What do we know about him? He is harmless. The officer in question is... How should I say this? He is very serious about questions of the heart. What does she do when she's not on stage? Most of the time, she's with the publisher, Lenoir. He's considered a patriot. Nice cover for a spy. Put our best people on it. And the Russian? The hell with him. Here, in these files, are the crimes that Matahari committed against France. This blue file contains all the documents she stole. The white file lists the agents she recruited. And the red file, it lists those who died all over Europe because of that spying whore. And this black file contains all our evidence against her. Fill up the black file, Mateen. Oh my gosh, he's among the guests wearing the men's suit. Oh, ah, the dream of yours. I'm tired of your jokes, David. Oh, indeed, in France, those Europeans. What if they teach our whatever something bad? Well, it will be unacceptable. Who is this officer? Vladimir Maslov. Vladimir. Nothing but rifles. I've seen French soldiers. They have huge backpacks and other things. Yes, our men are poorly equipped, but we hoped our French allies will help with supplies. For example, Monsieur Schneider has promised to dedicate one of his factories for making helmets with the Russian emblem. I would just like to see the letters of collateral. Uh, sent our best soldiers to France, the most decorated men. Bonjour. Come on.
Your Excellency, the demonstration is over. I'm requesting your permission to take the battalion back to the barracks. Permission granted, Captain. But first, we really would like to challenge Captain Maslov's mastery. I do. Not handle weapons, but horses. I can handle them very well. to me you fell on purpose. I thought it was a stunt. You seem to be perfectly fine, so please excuse me, madam. Manners, Captain. Remember, we are guests. My apologies. Madam. She's said to be an excellent writer. She was a teacher at a writing school, owned by a man named Moliere. And he, this man died. Under mysterious circumstances. I suspect her, but that's not our concern now. She has her eye on this captain. And I want to know for what? For fun. She likes officers. Perhaps she means to seduce and recruit them. Maybe. She's very careful. Just as we need to be very careful because of her powerful patrons. I made another request to arrest her on suspicion of espionage. Again, they turned me down. A shame, but if she likes this Russian, Maybe we can use him to get to her. Perhaps. What's his name? Vladimir Maslov. I believe that I've heard this name. It sounds familiar. It doesn't matter. We might have a better way to get rid of her. A decree is issued to shut down the criminal underworld of Paris. Brothels, underground casinos. France is facing very hard times, and there's no place for these dirty bastards. Do you know Michelle Riva? Yes. She's the owner of a special establishment in the southern quarter of Paris. I want you to meet her and make her an offer. Do you understand? Maybe a shocking one. Monsieur Lenoir? I don't even know. Don't I cross la liberté? Is it shocking enough? Uh, develop the film, Rene. It's enough for today, I think. Madam, you are just fabulous. May I? So, you'll tell Frau Doctor the following. Russian supplies are dwindling. Soldiers will be provided only with the bare necessities. Helmets, coats, etc. They are not resupplying artillery or mortars. The Russian positions at the front can be considered the weakest points, but they should not discount the bravery and skills of Russian soldiers, who will fight regardless of their weakened positions. Is this information accurate? I'm always. Accurate. But you've just almost messed up my face. <laughs> I would kill you if I didn't need you. I pay a high price for my freedom to let the like of you threaten it. I understand. Margaret? I'm here. I bumped into an old friend. She has a place, um, well, where people come to have fun. 
Mm. Are done with the rich slackers huh. and the cowards gather? Well, perhaps, but uh, there's profit to be made in it. And she is offering well, quite a bit of money. Is she? Mm. And only one dance. And there's a roulette. Gabriel, you know how much I miss casinos. I know. When will I have to perform? Uh, she's not sure yet. In a few days. What's her name again? Michelle Riva. Villogia, I notice when the epistle is being read, you seem distracted. Is everything okay with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Not just today, for a while now. It's the wedding. I've been giving it a lot of thought. As you should. You're entering a new and life-changing, amazing part of your life. It is such a big decision to connect your life to another person. Are you having doubts? Yeah. Wait, here they come now. Go to them. We'll talk later. I missed you so much. Me too. How was the journey? The sea was frightening. They say Germans can blow up ships from underwater. Then we took a train and came straight to you. Piotr Alexievich. Hello, Volodya. Hello, son. Good morning. Hello, Father. Alexander. Father Alexander. Yes. Since you're here, perhaps you could marry them right now. Well, if that's what they want, I would be happy to. I think that sounds wonderful. And you, Volodya? At once, if we can. It's a very nice church. <laughs> Of course you're in a hurry. You're young people. But I've invited many guests, Vera. So the wedding must be held at the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral in Pozhivar. No, Father. It's called Bozhival. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it. The church is beautiful. And in three days' time, you will have a beautiful ceremony. Of course, you're invited, Nikolai Alexandrovich. Thank you. And you too, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Very good. They're starting a new life together. Aren't they a lovely couple? It's like they are meant for each other. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> Come in. It's late. I hope you have something interesting. Matahari is going to Riva's place to perform. Good. She hasn't given me a chance to find evidence to put into this black folder. The worst for her. She could have had a life. You are personally in charge for the results of the raid. If Estruk is there, do I arrest him as well? He could possibly turn on her. He might offer him a deal. I'll give it a try, Captain. I hope soon the city will be grieving for the death of the beautiful Matahari. <sighs> Everyone, get out! 
outside! Now! Move, move, move! Get outside! Now! This way! Get going! Stop it! Stop it! Everyone, everyone, out! Yes, we're going! Get moving, now! You too! There's been a misunderstanding. We're guests here. Gabriel, calm down. You two, stop talking and get in the car. Yeah, you'll regret this, you know. This is the famous Matahari. I can't believe Matahari in this den of iniquity. Stop! What are you looking at? Keep moving. Go! You are going to Van Song along with the others. I'll have you sent to the front lines. What's your name? Every Martin, madame. I'm sure a stroke you can leave. Not without her. I'm sorry, Gabriel. If he wants to stay with her, let him. You and your friends may go. Thank you, monsieur. They all think they're going to the Chateau de Vincent. Yes, sir. It will be done immediately. Get them down and take them to the pit. But can anyone tell me what's going on? No. Keep moving. Who gave this order? Do you know? No. And I wouldn't advise you to ask. No. No. <laughs> Stand here, darling. Stand near me. Stay with me. Grab the weapons. I love you. I've always loved you. Just do it this way. Do it this way. Go. Stay right here. Amy. Sorry. Feel up.
ce mi a dominum la nave, o ce mi a dominum de pecatus sunt. Efendu in conspectu e azizoratorium meam, e tribulationem mea anti ipsum promontio, in defeciendo ex me spiritum meum, e tu cogno vostis semitas mea, in via vacra qua burdu balum, as vecatum la venum mi. Matahari, look here! Get out! Out! Go! What did Gabriel ask through me on a personal level? Everything. He meant everything to me. He has spent many years by my side. And I cannot imagine going on without him. Do you want to avenge your friend and uh, punish your enemies? I don't have any aspirations for the revenge. It will not bring him back anyway. I believe it was a terrible and meaningless accident. So you will not insist that people responsible for your friend's death uh, be found and punished. This country is a country governed by law and morality. And I'm confident that the guilty will pay. These are the words of a real patriot. Astruk was your manager. Who will replace him? No one can replace him. She is writing a book, and I'm going to publish it. What is the book about? This book is about a great woman. There will be a many unknown facts about her life and lavish photographs. We have just begun working on it, so I must go. Sorry. Thank you. This is a complete disaster. The public is furious, demanding answers, and the newspapers are saying we're murderers, calling for your resignation, which I would not mind, except they're asking for mine, too. So I have to make excuses for you now. But how can I excuse such stupidity? How did she get to the press? Why isn't she dead? I can explain. Can you really? I did not order any shootings. The order to shoot all those people was given by my assistant, Hervé Matin. He decided this all by himself? No, I think that... Lieutenant Hervé Matin misunderstood my order about their raid. My order was to raid the establishment and to arrest them. I believe the situation went out of control. So it means you're not willing to accept the blame for killing those people. I'd convene a military tribunal if I could do it without putting myself at risk. As for your assistant, I'll send him to the front line. This better not happen again, because I will not protect you. Call Lieutenant Matin. Lieutenant? Lieutenant Hervé Matin, put your hand down. Lieutenant, you went against my orders. Take him away. This way, Private. Monsieur General? Captain! It is tough at the front. 
former officer can easily catch a bullet in the back. War is war, General. Get to your duties, Captain Ledoux. Your department has been of quite little use lately. takes her time. Mademoiselle said you must not see her in the dress. Yeah, I know. Silly superstition. Run, bastards. Killed thousands of people in one night. Damn. They used gas again. Barbarians. feeling just a bit easy you're still in shock but at your age you should recover without any lasting effects and don't do anything to exert yourself thank you doctor you're welcome tell me doctor how long until she recovers uh i would say in a couple of weeks she should be back on her feet <laughs> you are very lucky mademoiselle you will be fine we will arrange the wedding as soon as fair is better Yes, yes. In the meantime, I think it's better we don't tell Vera you're going to the front. We don't want her to worry about you. I will take care, I promise. You too, be careful. Yes, we cannot count on being lucky again. The dressmakers and Ange were all killed. It's a miracle you and Vera lived. By God's grace, he saved her for me. the successful operation. What was that? You know, I don't keep any secrets from you. I don't understand all these doodles. And you don't have to. You're so beautiful. And the Russians? Will they be far from Paris? Why? Do you have any special friend among them? No, I'm just curious. <laughs> Here. Southern County. Oh my god, I'm so clumsy. I'm bored. 
Let's go back. Clean that. He's French. They make first-class trenches for themselves. No one ever let us dig like this. We won't let them either. <laughs> Your soldiers seem to be in good spirits. Let's hope you're still joking after two weeks of battle. It's not their first year on a battlefield. I doubt anything can change their mood. Is everything okay here? Change of guard, soldier. Yes, sir. Zakharov, mend the station. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you see anything? Only some Germans rotting on the wires. <laughs> Whew. The sons of bitches see every move. How long have they been sitting in that pillbox? A long time. We've blocked the passage with wire, but that won't stop a heart attack. Colonel Burson shouldn't have let her in his room. What did she want? What do they all want? What were they talking about? It was hard to hear. <sighs> Think I heard them say something about the Russian Corps. Something about it being transferred to the front lines? Russians. You may go now. Get more information next time. I'll pay double the money. Hello, Carasso. I need you to get the names of all officers with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs who work with the Russians. Dig up information of any kind on each of them. It's been two days, Lieutenant. I keep track of the time, Captain. Well, I can't afford to waste it anymore. Give me your gun. You and Zaharov put rapid fire on the pillbox. Keep their heads down while I get close. Maslov, you'll be killed. Russians are stationed here. So you know what this means? I can read military charts. They won't have any artillery support for three days. Wonderful. Three days, Monsieur Lenoir. This information must be sent immediately. Will do, madame. Shall I tell the photographer to come in? Yes, please. And little David, too.
So, let's start a new chapter, David. Write it down. My new old lover. The Russian side is quiet. It's a good time to strike if our information is correct. What about the pillbox? Is it ours or the Russians? We built it. I think it still belongs to us. The Russians fired on it recently. Well then, they'll know what to do. God is with us. We'll remind them what happened to Samsonov at Hannaburg. I've been such a mess lately, Father. I feel like I need to act. To do something. But I can't. This passivity brings me down. May God forgive you. The world is going through its darker times. Practice patience, Vladimir. Everything comes to him who knows how to wait. Wait? Wait for what? Just wait for the time to take its course. The darkest hour comes right before the dawn. Think about Vera. Vera. Have you set the date for the wedding yet? How can I think about the wedding now? Do you have any doubt? I don't know, Father. Marriage is a beautiful thing, Volodya. It'll settle you down. Is there anything else to confess? Yes, Father, I've killed five people. May God forgive you. Is that all? Господи, Бог наш, Иисус Христос, благодать и щедрот ему своего человека любви, да простить сейчас на Владимире все согрешения твои, и раз недостойные власти его мне данно, прощай и разрешай грехи твои во имя Отца, Сына, Святого Духа. Аминь. going to break through. This has to open the road to Paris. Yeah, maybe. Remember, history is also made by the losers. And the Russians are dangerous hand to hand. I hope our men in the pillbox come through for us. Anyway, it's time.
We are going far away from the camp. There are lots of thieves, so I am afraid I can't protect you if something happens. Nonsense, David. We should not have more fun. The Russians won the battle. Russians. Thank you. Oh, please, give me one. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Newspapers! Fresh newspapers! We've beaten the Germans again, haven't we? <laughs> I believe so. Well, <laughs> Russians have. And thanks to them, the Germans got what they deserved. Let me introduce myself. Uh, August Werner, a uh, diplomat and special envoy to Indochina. It's... It's a pleasure to meet you. I am... Oh, you don't have to tell me who you are. You don't need an introduction. I have seen your picture many times and reveled at your beauty, but if I may say so, you are even more beautiful in real life, madame. It was nice to meet you, monsieur. Ha! Did you see the papers? <laughs> I told Ignatiev that Maslow was a born leader. <laughs> Excuse me, you know Colonel Ignatiev? Oh, yes. Yes, I knew him in Russia. He appointed Captain Maslow, and I told him this man is destined to do great things, and I was right. <laughs> what do you think about them? Ah, let me see it. Cambodian real silver. Hmm. A bit tarnished. How do they look on you? <laughs> Beautiful. Let me buy them for you. No. No. This is not necessary. Thank you so much. We're going home. Um, have a wonderful day, monsieur. Venet, but please call me August. August. I hope to see you soon, August. Vladimir, we're so happy you're back. Hello, Welcome Charlotte. Home. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. How are things around here? We were all so worried about you for so long, we heard nothing. We read in the papers about your great heroics. Oh. We're all so proud. Claudia, oh, finally. I thought these days will never end. Vera, my darling. My God, you become so light. <laughs> are you here for long? Yeah. I just have to go back to the regiment for a day, and then I'll be off. For over two weeks. A full two weeks? That's wonderful. So we can finally set the date. Do I smell like medicine? No. Then why are you so cold? I'm not cold. I'm just very dirty. <laughs> two weeks in the trenches. I don't mind. But if you do, then take a bath. But first, carry me to the dining room. I'll wait there for you. All right. Have you checked the list of the Foreign Affairs people for Vanna? Yes, I received a reply from Cologne. Warner holds a high post, something to do with supply from weaponry to the Russian Tsar's army. And he's really an Indochina specialist. Do they want me to work with him? Mm-hmm. How careless. We have to send his photograph to Colony to confirm his identity. It will take a lot of time. Oh. And since when is he in such a rush? Not me, but the office. When Werner is salivating over me, take photographs of him. Discreetly, of course. Of course. Here he is. Sir. Finally! You're here, August. I'm so glad to see you. How could I stay away? You're so beautiful. No, these are beautiful. Thank you. I'll use them for photograph. Perfect. 
Hold still. Send the Patriot a coded message that Agent H-21 should suspend contact with the Chinaman until we can verify his identity. I need to talk with you. Leave us, Corporal. Have the message encrypted and sent immediately. Who is the message for? The Patriot. Wait, Corporal. Come here. Give me the note, please. H-21 is Matahari, correct? Yes, Colonel. Then why should she suspend contact with a potential source? We need all the information we can get. And she's a very effective agent. We are still checking him. We can't wait, Elizabeth. We're losing one agent after another in Russia. And we can't figure out why. We need information. We can't put Agent H-21 at risk. She's too valuable. If you make us lose Werner, I will not be able to protect you from the headquarters. You're the only woman officer in the army, and of such rank. If any of the officers believe they can replace me, I'd gladly leave my missions in their capable hands. Come on. No one could replace Frau Doctor. How long do you need to check on Werner? Well, no, tomorrow, or the day after. I don't want to delay any more than you do. The Patriot is waiting for our next instructions. So let's work together to give him the answer. Would you like to eat something, Air Colonel? I would. Great. The food was delicious. Thank you. How clumsy can a man be? You'd be more useful at the front line. Get lost! No. Sorry, I can't stand these cowards. Uh, leave it, August. It's hard enough for them. The miserable people, the families disown them, the lovers reject them, even prostitutes refuse them. Yes. A man without love is lost. I know I fear losing you. Why do you think you'll lose me? Because I have to leave on a mission. It will happen soon. Is that so? How sad, when? Confidential. Is it proper to show me? From you, I don't have any secrets. The 14th. You have to leave the day after tomorrow. First, I must work on some documents at home, so... Tonight is the last chance for me to be with you. If you... will join me. If not, I will understand. Write down your address on the napkin. And I will come in at night. So you must leave. But you'll be back tomorrow, all right? Yes. The regiment is not on the battlefield now, so don't worry. I always worry when you're gone. It can't be avoided, Vera. I'm an officer, after all. He's right. You can't live your life worrying about him. Maybe we should call the wedding off. That way it won't be on your mind all the time. That was a bad joke, Father. <laughs> all right. Did you set the date? Alodia doesn't seem to want it anymore. Of course I do. I just don't want to rush it. There's a telephone call from Monsieur Captain. 
It's headquarters. Excuse me. This will leave stains on her fingers. Like a mark of cane. Impossible to wash off. So even if she has the time to close the safe, it won't erase her guilt. It's a great idea, Monsieur Captain. Monsieur Vernet, don't forget. Yes, of course. And now I'm gonna let our savior watch over this key. And what if she does try to poison you? Or worse? Killing Vernet would be no use to her. It would raise suspicions. She wouldn't risk it. She'll just wait for me to fall asleep. And for now, it's time for my date with our gorgeous spy. Be careful with the documents. It might be safer to take a taxi. Safe travels. I will. I'll just walk a little. I need to see the madam, now. Madam's gone. Where? To Mr. Werner's. How did you get in? Damn it. When did she leave? Just five minutes ago. <sighs> address, quick. I don't know the address. What's wrong? I received this from Cologne. The man she's with is Captain Ledoux, not Werner. She is walking into a trap set by the French Secret Service. to the living room. Lay him here. Thank you. Wait in the car. What's going on? Werner is secret police. We have to run, and we can't keep this. Here's what we do. Anna, hmm? go upstairs and you bring me the picture of Noel. Now, I'll do it. Uh, what's going on? What picture? Trust me. Anna, please, call the doctor and the police, too. All right. You're going to call every journalist you know. And the news of the day will be Matahari, the French patriot saved, the Russian hero, Vladimir Maslow. It's... Genius! What are you writing? It's a goodbye letter for
for Werner. Can't make him feel sad, can we? No. No. Give this to the driver. And pay you well. Of course. Thank God you're awake. No. The doctor should arrive shortly. Nothing serious, it seems. Don't touch it. She means everything to me. Margaret, I was... Excuse me, madam. Dr. Hoffman is here. Hello, doctor. Well, I'll leave you alone for now. Maslov was not saved by the French authorities, perhaps because they were busy arresting drunks or prostitutes. The Russian here was saved by the woman who survived the recent massacre, which the authorities also failed to prevent. The same woman who is loved by the public is constantly assaulted and harassed by those same authorities who failed her and Maslov, just as they are failing for her. Get to the point. Without regard for her own life, Matahari rescued Maslov from the German spies and treated the hero's grievous wounds. Not only did she save the captain's life, but also the vital documents he was carrying, which are now safe with the General Lakovitsky. She had mastered me for the moment. I must be patient. It's hot, so blow on it first. Then take some sugar, put it between your teeth, and sip through it. Huh? 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 Go on, sip. Sip the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you shouldn't. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so grateful to you for Volodya. I was glad to be of help. I'm just tired of talking about it. <laughs> what is that small building over there? It's a greenhouse. I uh, enjoy gardening. I would love to look at it. Will you give me a tour? Of course. He'll be happy to. The doctor said you should walk more. <laughs> of course, I will keep you company. <laughs> 
Don't take too long. We'll have lunch soon. <sighs> Such a lovely smell. My neighbors had a place like this when I was a child. I love the whole concept of a greenhouse. It's not only beautiful. It's life. The sun brings light. And it brings warmth. And it makes the flowers blossom. You wish. <laughs> 